Hello, everybody. Ta -da. It's us. It's us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let me fix some name. It's actually, if I do that, but I could just zoom some people around now. Um, Ladron and let's swap. We're all lined up. Yay. Okay. Make sure I unmuted everything. Good. Hey, for us, I'll have fun lurking. Nice to have you here. Um, I don't want battle set up just yet because we're going to jump into the scene we were in last session. But uh, in the background here, I'm just going to quickly get the other cameras and stuff working. Uh, is, that, is it just grabbing only half of that? That's not really going to cut it. Like that. And then... And about the same. Now what's that? 767. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll give that a second to catch up. Anyway, here we are. Let me find some. Uh, oh, how about um, how about tense negotiations? Yeah, it's a good tune to start with here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, there, it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> all right uh then 67 is um 18 away six eight i think all right we'll just see how that works itself out in a minute when obs catches up and we got everyone in their spots. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So here we are. Last week, last session. <laughs> After the battle. Oh, Lil, your theme might not be muted. I'm sorry. Thanks. If, if so. Uh, sorry about that. Um, last session. Yes, we had the gen. All the different genie types there. Um, the battle royale. That um, was was really really fun and very entertaining uh, for us and the uh, genies. Uh, allowed you to be granted a wish, which kept very simple uh, to to hold audience with Sereneth. And um, so you were uh, teleported to a, a small, almost like a room in an ancient ruin, so stone walls, this and that, but as you stepped through uh, the doorway, you saw some crackling um, porch light through a doorway, you stepped through and opened up into almost another world where it's a very fey-esque forest with purples and blues and greens in the trees stars spread out above in the night sky and a number of torch lights up on tall torch stands um lighting a path every 25 feet or so another torch lamp going back and forth across the street uh you all navigated that pathway until you got to a bit of a clearing where you saw a few individuals there was a um a completely desiccated humanoid you could see through bits of their their uh, many wrappings um likely a mummy or a mummy lord of some sort um a harpy queen uh all relatively silent just giving you a once over as you all enter into the space um and a half elf a gentleman as well um, before finally the the relatively tall, I, I believe she's uh, 10 or 11 feet or whatever she stands, um, <clears throat> Theraneth entered the clearing. Um, very large, uh, let me see, I think I've got the image here so I can share it with our, our wonderful um, 
I have to add that, so I guess I guess I'll do that in a second. Uh, whoopsies. Stepped into the clearing. A uh, large skull mask with huge antlers that, that go off in every direction for 10, 15 feet. And a interesting looking dire wolf covered in runic sim golden glowing runic symbols. Um a wolf of the hunt approached. Uh seemingly recognizing Diet. I can't remember, did she say something to you all? Did she give you a greeting? I think we cut out I think we ended session before Mm. anything was said we were just introduced to harpy harpy queen mummy lord and leader of the wild hunt and then we we ended nice. correct me if i am wrong though that sounds good to me yep that's that's good <laughs> all right let me quickly pull up an image here at least um the first one so i think i put it in let me know if you need me to Put it in Discord again. I'm going to get it up for our viewers here um, of what they look like. Serenath uh, and me as the master of the hunt. Put this image in real quick for our viewers. And what are Serenith's pronouns? Because I think I have been getting them wrong the whole time. Oh, oh, she, they. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she is, as she approaches, she'll introduce, here's a little image um, here. Okay, all right, OBS, you can, you can be like that, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and... <clears throat> He leans down. You wished for an audience. Voice grumbles and growls with uh, as she speaks. Correct. It is in regards to what is it? Keseth the oh god, what is he called? The Chaos Hound. There we are. Uh. And what would you tell me of this creature, this bane? It is uh, the devourer of the faithful, a half corpse hound bent on hunting on the behest of those who would rise as the new gods of this primordial. And we hope to hunt it and kill it or trap it doesn't really matter. Um, fictions say that it cannot be killed, but that is we, why we come to petition the wild hunt. Well then, this creature I'm familiar with. Gods, we need no more of. Wish to hunt. <laughs> looks around uh, you know the, the antlers kind of way cut through a little bit of the mist in the area um she looks back and forth <clears throat> this is not a hunt that i could resist Creatures that God can it would make And if I may hmm. it hunts the faithful and I'm pretty good bait. <laughs> this creature it walks our plane currently, or another. Last we had information on it, it walks on our plane. It is tracking us. Most recently in Sunhaven, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
And he wished to turn the tides. Yes. Uh Please. Continue. Sunhaven headed toward... Oh, or headed towards Sunhaven. One of the two. I believe it's heading south. It is on this plane the horn will find its glory. Tell me of yourselves then, and let you know if I accept. And she'll take the helmet off, and as she does, the antlers kind of shrink, and the helmet itself, as she pulls it off of her head, shrinks a bit in size. She tucks it into reaches behind where a hood would be in her long cloak, but there's shadows that just kind of reach up and envelop it as she places it into the nothingness of the cloak behind her. Um, and I'll put up a picture in Discord first, and then I'll do the OBS one, because the OBS one's being silly. Um, there's Sarah Death. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> I am Sarenith. Let us make with introductions first. Okay. Via. Opportunity. You can call me Tuna if you want, or whatever is fine. There you are. Later in. Gregory. And tell me, why does a god eater hunt the four of you? Because we're constantly mucking about in their master's plans. You know, they want to destroy at least part of the civilization to rise themselves up as gods. And given that we particularly live here, I'm against it, so. Um, very cavalier way of saying, um, they decided to fuck with us and it just started to become annoying. So might as well kill their dog. <laughs> I see you hold no place in your lives for gods lost or otherwise then. I personally don't. I grew up my entire life not knowing any of them, so... (laughs) Tell me of some of your grander accomplishments. We freed... We didn't free... We freed from Boren from mind control, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, or some sort of control. Um, we killed a vampire. Did we kill a vampire? I think we killed a vampire. We did. Well, well I kind of threw him to a storm, but he ended up dead either way. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not good at this part. <laughs> he helped awaken the daddy of earth elementals. Did, so. yeah. Oren. Uh, Oren. Yes. Oren mm-hmm. lives. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Very well. I will gladly accept this hunt. Truly an irresistible glory. And you will all join. Do you have steeds? Yes. Actually. We have a wonderful lily pad that. No, I, I, I don't ride often. Mm. What of. The one that powers in your pack. Gil? 
bring them forth. All right. <laughs> Scoop him up. I'll release him out of his Pokeball. <laughs> nice, nice. You know, it's, it's cowering a little. But yeah. not to anything major. You know, not like mm -hmm. afraid. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> I gotcha. It is. Very tall people. I'll stand beside him. I'll stand beside them because they're my baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to get you uh, an image if I can here of, of um, mm -hmm. what this is going to look like. Um, all right. I just, there we go. That's what I needed. Oh, no. There it is. No, 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 no. Get it quick. All right. I'm going to just put this in Discord for you. <laughs> yeah. I told y'all that she would be hot. I knew it as soon as I heard the mask described. I knew it was coming. Nice. <laughs> Saying a lot about myself here on the internet. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> mask equals. Yeah. Look. Nice. How it always goes. I I've seen it. the Mandalorian. Sure, yeah. <laughs> mask equals hot. Oh my yes. <laughs> this young one. Hold some unbridled bay energy. Tell me, young one, you wish to look directly at Gail on your shoulder, wherever you mm -hmm. have them. Yeah. You wish to carry this one, nods at you, in battle. And, uh, Gil, assuming you're okay with Gil having a steed option, they'll say <laughs> yes. But, so. I mean, it sounds sick as fuck, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, this young one speaks highly of you. Very well. <clears throat> Come and gestures to kill says come and kill instantly. He leaps up. Of course, I think that you read a little. Or did you have any research on Serenath? I feel like I definitely didn't because uh, Dia is an idiot. Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess I guess not. Uh, you might be thinking of Saturday's camp. I probably probably. <laughs> so they they seem to have. This is more than just like a request. It's mm -hmm. almost a command. The way Gil reacts is like they are following oh. a command issued. Um, okay. And they leap off and over and fall just in the palm, inner palm. Mm -hmm. um, and Gil has a bit of a glow and some of the, the fayish little wisps of little will o wisps that have been floating around, little balls of energy like that begin to come around and swirl around Gil. And. Um, Serenith rests them down on the ground and takes a few steps back and they shift into um, that. And this is the mini. Uh, it's the link. It says you might have to click on it. But it's a thicket mm -hmm. stag um, that is an incredibly fey <laughs> uh, mount. Um leaves and and other uh, little dragon-esque bits that were flowing from the scales of of gill uh take form into this this stag antlered uh and scaled um and yeah i'm sorry i can't show players you don't necessarily have uh it's a link so i don't have an image image but it's a beautiful face stag um, that kind of plops around over to you, Dia. Yeah. When they wish. so majestic. Gil <laughs> kind of does a, a very noble, like, head bow. <laughs> I curtsy. This <laughs> is their head. When needed, they will be able to shift into this creature, into this form. Well, <clears throat> we need to gather the rest. Proper individuals to hunt a god eater. Rests. Make yourselves known. 
among the other three here, more will arrive. Prepare yourselves as well. Yes. Do you have an armorer for our mounts? I'm um, not to speak for the others, but I'm personally would prefer if they had a bit of protection as we do. This can be done. Before we hunt, I'll call forth mounts and ensure they're guarded in the battle, protected. Thank you. Ready yourselves as well. It'll be morning when we begin the hunt. Morning here. There, it will be nightfall. And she uh, heads off down out into the clearing um, to go summon some other people, leaving you with the three individuals here and yourselves. You don't have to mingle if you don't want to. <laughs> um, but they're there. And basically, uh, mechanically, you'll have a full rest before you leave. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though you're all charged up. It'll be morning here, in whatever plane you're in right now. But um, as uh, you embark on the hunt to the Prime, it'll be nighttime on the Prime. Okay. Uh, but you can prepare spells and other things. Because you will, like, again, this is the DM set up for this. You will be participating in the hunt. While these other, like, as if is, you know, a god tier thing, these people are, are like, incredible incredibly strong too but i want you to feel part of it so but there's danger there's actions you know so prepare the things that you want to that you think might be useful um in battle against ketchup mm -hmm. the other three aren't making any advances but i'm looking right i'll go talk to the mummy person okay <clears throat> You head over, and um, they're, um, <laughs> they have a lot of these, you know, the, the robes of um, gauze, basically, and everything else, but they have a nice French coat over it and some other mm -hmm. clothing over that. Um, almost a Western style with the, the leathered pants, and there's a little vest over the mummified wrappings and that duster. It hangs hmm. low. So, are you part of the wild hunt? Or are you auditing? I don't. Uh, what? You're you're very different than everything else here. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Hmm. Oh, pull themselves up off the tree a little bit. Ah. Uh, wouldn't be caught dead being an auditor, frankly, but sometimes I'm alive, join the hunt. Changes folks every every time. Glad I'm here for this one. Hmm. How about yourself? You've got a bit of an auditor vibe. Oh, that's just because I was born into wealth, so oh. that's just... That, that's just my vibe. Um, no. Um, I'm gonna aside from that, no, this is, I'm not exactly a part of the wild hunt. I did eh, prove myself, maybe bolster up a bit of my pride when Sarenath first introduced uh, themselves to us because my companions are all werewolves but I am not um, and kind of ran into a bit of a tiff when they were out riding one full moon well sometimes that's all you need to become a member of the hunt oh you're really? strong enough yeah you got the guts for it and yeah you all seem to have some modicum of strength. Lots of potential, though. 
severely. We're all very quite gifted. Yeah. Reckon you wouldn't be here if you weren't. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? Are you... I... I'm not entirely sure what all qualifications the Wild Hunt has. Are you magic? Do you possess magical abilities? Are you physical in the way you hunt? A little both for me. Ooh. Though uh, you just have to be mighty strong. Okay. Have Serenith call upon you. Now, folks, Serenith picks different folks for every hunt. Got mm. a bit of a short list for. People that uh, they find uh, up to the task. Hmm. But myself, yeah, I use a little bit of physical prowess with a um, fair bit of magic. Hmm. Mostly offensive. Hmm. I tell you, you've got a lot of magic in you. Unique magic, if... Uh, I have to say. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Generational inherited magic, I suppose. Mm. Well, it's not how you come by, it's how you use it, though. Hmm. Agreed. As I'm slowly learning for myself. Hmm. I didn't ask your name. I started this whole entire conversation and didn't ask. I didn't know if that was rude or not, because, you know, the whole fey rules of it all. I wasn't sure if oh, that would be presumptuous of me. I can never keep up with the fey rules myself. Mm -hmm. Don't reside here. Just come here for the serenest, delightful company and hopefully a hunt here and there. Okay. Name's Rascliffe. Rascliffe. How about mm. you? Ah, Bia. Uh, it's what I go by these days, so. What uh, continent are you from, Bia? Doom, what's the name of my continent? <laughs> <laughs> so no, that's okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I believe it's... Um... Let me go make sure because I don't want to confuse it with the other one. Um, reference moon fell. Yeah. Uh, Shion Day. Shion Day or they? A uh, they. Okay. Shion Day. Like V A E. Okay. They. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shion Day. Actually. I don't think I've been down there yet. I was going, my, that was going to be my next question also, because your speech pattern is very unique. So. Oh, appreciate that. Hmm. Right. I think the huh. speed with which you speak is unique as well. Thank you. No, sometimes you have to rush everything you're going to say all at once, otherwise people, uh, otherwise, you know, siblings and parents will talk over you and then nothing you say matters. So, you know, just try to get it all at once. Understood, understood. <laughs> How about your friends? How about the rest of y'all? Oh, shouts over. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. This is going to be a problem for me because I'm going to slip into my accent. Um, <laughs> I'm going to lose Tuna and I'm going to go back no. to kick ass Carly. Um, that Southern. Oh, God. Y'all should hear me at work. It's so bad. Um, awesome. Hi, I I'm um, Tuna. Ask that. Pleasure. The other two just to say you don't have to introduce yourself if you don't want <laughs> these meetings are awkward sometimes it's it's i reckon it's fine if you don't want to introduce yourselves Name's been drinking tea <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
I reckon it'll be uh, quite an interesting hunt y'all brought us this time. Yes. Thank you for that. Can't say we've hunted anything that can kill gods yet, so. <laughs> we all look Wait, what was I going to say? <laughs> <clears throat> Every new day is worth a new experience, so happy to bring it forth to you. <laughs> Minus the awkwardness. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, well, and I'll bring the girls out and I'll say, <laughs> here's one more introduction I can make. <laughs> um, this is hope, joy, and patience, collectively known as the girls. They'll be accompanying me in the hunt. So, well, I never. And you see him like melt into <laughs> like oh. oh the way to every southern person's heart is a yeah. dog. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh well, come here, you sweet thing. You mind if I, if I pet them? Absolutely, it's oh. totally fine. Go for it. Oh, oh well, come on over. Get come here, girl. Come here. <laughs> Most the girls over. Gives them all scritches and, you know, leaping up. And uh, mummy lords, so they're maybe, you know, they've got a little mass to them. They're, you know, aside from being desiccated, they're maybe standing at like uh, six, ten, seven feet or somewhere around there. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Got it's the girls back down. <laughs> well, <clears throat> a, a valiant steed, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Uh, well, you'll find um, our friend over here and points to the Harpy Queen. Um, they uh, they can't uh, they can't speak much. Uh, it kind of j pulls on his throat, and you see like a terrible gash that runs from her chin across the front mm. of her neck and down past the clavicle. <clears throat> and to Lily's question the other week, yes, her titties are out because it's a harpy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, no, you're not. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of looks and uh, you know, um, but but gives like a like a, a winged you know hello. Um, and um, for other friend over here, uh, they're um. Well, I'll let you introduce yourselves to them. They won't uh, get them talking. They won't stop. <clears throat> uh, points to the half elf, who has his titties out too. <laughs> hey. Okay. Well, will you introduce yourself? We're all going around, gesturing to the. <laughs> mm -hmm. half -elf. <laughs> this um <laughs> uh Rascalas just uh, gives a, a quick nod so I'm gonna let you all do your dog and I gotta prep my mount and such um but look forward to the hunt. Got a tips well of course you got a cowboy hat and tips his hat. Um and so then you, you head over to the, the half elf? Yes. We get um your image I've like put it in Discord too. Da, da, da. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Here's our gentleman. Oh, look Just at the tools. Add them. Hamlin, if he slayed. <laughs> yes just yeah just with blonde hair and then it'll be perfect nice <laughs> all right here we go for our viewers i'm just gonna get it done quick and, and messy here so you can see and we'll you know maybe fix it next time <laughs> um here we go all right uh yeah so you approach them and uh, 
getting them in the right folder here so that they're all over the place. There we go. Yay, got it. Oh, um, welcome. A pleasure to meet you all. Um, I caught your names already. I hope you don't mind. But I wasn't you trying to uh, eavesdrop? But um, quite an interested in group. Uh, my name is uh, Kazil. Acquaintance. Hey. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you as well. <laughs> uh, so, I, I, go, no, I was just going to ask if you wanted to tell us about yourself. We've all kind of been. <laughs> I see. Well, I, I am, um, about me, I'm a bit, a bit of an entertainer by day. Um, uh, a bard, uh, mostly. Um, I have some roguish ways about me, but um, pretty handy with a sword or two. And uh, he pats down at his side. He's got a couple um, longer blades. They're katana. Well, one's a katana. One's the um, looks the same but slightly shorter. Wakizashi. Um, I've lived for a fairly long time, a little longer than um, my folks usually do. Gotten fairly strong, came across Serenef. Well, I'll let Serenef to say to say, tell that story. <laughs> but um, I've been on a hunt or two, or three. Someone Serenef. Uh, has quality that needs catching. Anything particularly nasty that's after people that don't even deserve it. Innocent and the like. Make sure I'm here. Offer what I can do. I have to say, yes. I, I, I was going to say, this is the perfect hunt for you then. I, I, um, I like the challenge. I like um, anything that's out there hunting down people that are doing good in the world, like the lot of you. Oh, I'm all for it. Messing with the gods' plans. If they had their time, there's any left, they can fuck off. It's so surprising seeing such normal people a part of the Wild Hunt. From everything I've read, I assumed everyone here was like half monster, or cursed, or fey tricked or something, but everyone here seems so surprisingly just, you know, it's an afternoon. It, it's um, unexpected. Well, kind of looks around like at the other people and himself. He it may be more on the nose than, than you think, um, but we're all people at the end of the day, I suppose. Hmm. I'm a bit, I have a, a hold a bit of a curse myself. Um, I've lived five or six lifetimes. I tell you, I come back elsewhere. Sometimes I gain, regain my memories like this lifetime, other times I don't. I have a whole different life. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, well, I'll let everyone share their own stories if they wish, but, uh, you know, people that have everything just easy they tend not to develop the same sort of strength and uh, constitution that those that have been put through quite a bit do. Survival skills. Hey. Hey. Uh, Um, I've been to your continent, uh, let's see, I've been to Sunhaven, in fact. Um, what else have I been through over there? Um, oh, Avalon. Avalon's a might wonderful city, isn't it? It is. Oh. It was. It was? Oh no, don't tell me it fell. 
What happened to Avalon? It's still it's a up, lot. isn't lot. it? I mean, it's there. It's just there's a lot that's gone on. Um, it's fine. It's just there was uh, flight bombing. Flight bombing. Um, oh. Due to the machinations of the people we are currently actually trying oh. to yeah. completely oh. fuck over. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's. Edible. Um, but yeah. all the more thankful for folks like yourselves that um, take a duty on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Juno looks very uncomfortable <laughs> right now. <laughs> yep, it's great to hmm. stop Zero people just, that like, <laughs> laughing internally at Juno's discomfort. <laughs> Of a wonderful city like that, it's yeah. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Gonna bring them to justice, right, Juno? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's your take on uh, Serena? If this is your first time meeting, honestly, a lot more agreeable. We've come into certain circumstances where we've had to ask individuals to help save the world and we had to do a whole task for them Dang. so uh the fact that they were just game i was wonderful about it <laughs> yeah we had to kill each other as a favor to get here we did yes. well, i was wondering how In you got here you know. very difficult yes. <laughs> that would probably explain our energy we were coming into the situation <laughs> ready for another fight and then all yeah. of you were very understanding and very um uh very willing to talk and so it's just so it's just Trying to reverse. <laughs> For sure. Indeed. Um, well, you brought them a, 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 a hunt that can't can he resist. Um, I, I'm sure it didn't take it. I'm sure they decided as soon as you mentioned Kazef that they were going to take it. I don't know why mm -hmm. they put you through the rest. But. But you're Corey. Fine, it's totally fine. Everything's going great, and we're not at <laughs> all stressed about it. At least I'm not. I don't know about everyone else, but I'm definitely not. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sure that um, that enough is going to put together a team that's up to the up to the task. And um, I think if nothing else, uh, be safe. Mm -hmm. Um, listen to Serenith. Uh, they'll give or orders here and there. They know what they're doing. Um, <sighs> Alright, there'll be plenty of people that will um, have the first time hunting something they could eat. Gods? However, not our first time hunting something devastatingly strong or said to be immortal so i have faith that will complete the task not um, too much it eats the faithful too <laughs> <laughs> tuna's just nervous <laughs> like <laughs> laughing through all of this just like <laughs> <laughs> well <clears throat> um Right. There's uh so if you're looking to rest and prepare, um if you go through the clearing over here, it'll bring you to a space with um a, a couple of log cabins. Um that's where we tend to rest. You pick whichever you wish, and it's plenty for everyone. That are that only hunts with uh oh, plenty or fewer hunters, so um for something this dangerous it might be strong fewer people but stronger. Um, plenty of there's like thirty cabins, so so pick a cabin you wish to, there'll be food. Um, you can rest if uh, you're personal with your mounts. Take some time and appreciate them and um, it. Um, they're gonna keep you safe through a good deal of this. Uh, you don't want to get left behind. They'll have some supernatural speed during the hunt. Um, so, uh, just prepare them, feed them, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And if any of you uh, take the time to prepare anything, it looks over at like you know Ladrin and uh, and you know you know having a vibe of everyone's um, energy. Be sure you're set to. Um, I would say now I know you're all plenty strong and you're all right. Um, I think if if I think you have plenty to offer in this hunt. I think the heavy hitters will do their job, but offering. Some of you might have a lot of offensive magic and kind of gestures to deal or um, things to help control the situation. Just plan for contingencies and think support with um, maybe some damage here and there. If, if damage is what you do, think damage. Um, but uh, I, it's a pretty good mixture. I, uh, I have to say. Um, I don't don't even know who else is going to be here, um, but our friend um, points over to the Harpy Queen. Um, they've been through a lot, and they're very angry with the world. So I would say that just be cautious around them. Uh, they might get uh, typically if. <laughs> we all work together very well, but sometimes um, she struggles to be part of the team. So, just a little preparation. Dan, I might Not mess bad. up your cameras real quick. I'm gonna no, go ahead. reset mm -hmm. my camera because it's being funky. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're oh, back. you're back. Hopefully that didn't mess up the order. <laughs> no, 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 you're good. You're good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Right after Kazil says that, Ladrin's mm -hmm. going to go over to the Harpy Queen. Oh, okay. Um, it's like... Without just, just saying anything, she's just going to go. Okay. And uh, that's a cup of tea in front of them. And then okay. telepathically in the Harpy's mind, mm -hmm. um, say, I'm just as angry. If you, you want more tea, you want to hit something, I'm here. I'm Ladrin. I'll be over there. You make just a persuasion check because there's there is some other stuff in the background. I just want to see how this will affect that. Because <laughs> she's great at that. Four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Telepathically, oh. you hear her respond. Um, she stands maybe, I mean, not super tall, but like maybe six and a half feet, you know, something like that. And kind of her feathers in the, kind of fluffed out a little as you approached, and the wings poofed out mm -hmm. a little bit. And, and you know, you set a, set a T down, and she kind of leans forward towards the T. And, and looks at you and telepathically with this like cold there. Just stay out of my way. And reach and flicks the uh, like, max the teacup off the stump. Wait. Oh. All right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> like, no, I'm comes not. Back that was perfect. <laughs> I love that you did that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's more of a coffee girl. <laughs> Ladrin, only you would hear that someone's angry at the world and take it as the challenge to prove that you're angrier. <laughs> nice. Pours herself another cup of tea. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Yes. Hi. Seeing how nervous mm -hmm. Tuna has has been, I just want to take their hand. Mm -hmm. Darling, is everything? What's going on? No, it's it's fine. It's just I don't know. It's a lot right now. Everything mm -hmm. that just happened, mm -hmm. and the Avalon thing, and everything that's about to happen. It's just it's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um. You let me know what you would like to do, because I can go get your armor repaired or enchanted. I can do all the 
chore stuff so you can relax with the girls, at least for the night. Or if you need to go do action plans to do yeah, that. Yeah, I think that would actually, the chores would actually calm me down a bit. So. Understood. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> uh, Neil's gonna, you know, cue himself and, and just mm. give a, a pleasant, like, it's it's been, you know, a pleasure to meet you all, and um, head off to his cabin. Um, what does that leave everyone wanting to do individually? I will say before, um, I'll say, um, so I'm thinking for spells tomorrow, I'll be more focused on healing and support, obviously. I'll still have a few um, damage things just in case we need them, but I think I will mostly be on healing and protection duty. <laughs> mm -hmm. If that determines what everyone else kind of prepares. Mm -hmm. um, does anyone have anything you want to role play out between now and waking up in the morning to the full complement of hunters? I'm actually... definitely chilling with the girls. Not like role playing it. I don't have mm -hmm. to role play it out, but I do want to point out that like Tuna is definitely chilling with the girls and like Aww. getting them used because like Tuna's ridden them before, but like getting them more used to it a little bit because it's been probably a while. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. I do want to ask if Ladrin is like visibly upset. I I have to because my passive perception is nine, so I do have to ask in mm. case, uh, to be able to like clock it. Uh, or if they're keeping everything like level for Ladrin. Um Oh right, because you were would... already feeling a little upset. Yeah. yeah. Well I'm trying to okay. So I would say she's trying to be level and not let her emotions get the best of her. But if you stare long enough, you will probably see she is trying to fight, like, like biting the uh, inside of her cheek, okay. or you know, like the nervous, like, mm -hmm. twitch, like, like just needing to like punch something. Gotcha. Then that's my key but it's to like go. Every. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Little little bits here and there. If mm -hmm. you were paying attention long enough to mm -hmm. catch all of it. Okay. Yeah, and I'll go over to Ladrin just as we're, like, meandering and, like, getting ready for the night. Ladrin, um, I could not help but notice how very pronounced your jawline is tonight. Um, your profile is, could cut class. Is there anything you want to talk about? I want to take that as a compliment. It is. It's the it's a nice way to observe that you seem very um attentive to a lot of things. I I do want to say things. I don't think I'm in the right space of or the, the right frame of mind mm -hmm. to say what I want. All I want to do is get this done and leave. I don't want to be here. I'm, but I'm going to pour all of that energy into tomorrow so we can get done and get the fuck out of here. Well, all right then. Um, Then I suppose I will see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Laird's gonna go off and summon uh, Tempest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tempest. Mm -hmm. And uh, get them ready and then go through her <laughs> spell book or spell book, her list of spells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <'Cause> she prepared. <laughs> the truth is out. No. She's got a spell book. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> okay. What's that meme? It's the witch. <laughs> That's us with Lydron. Amazing. <laughs> hey. oh, <love> <laughs> right. Any other RP before waking? Oh, Lydron, what you got? Question. Yeah. Do we? Okay. So technically, um. Kassif is considered like a celestial of sorts or just like lost mm, god. You were unsure. Okay. I did legend lore on Kassif oh, at did? one point. Oh. Where I have learned that with that. Yes. That determines what I'm preparing. Oh, for like creature type spells and stuff. Well, can't, yeah. Well, isn't like is creature kind of like broad, or is there like a? Oh, they are considered their type is outsider. Okay. Which what? is like an ancient, like third edition type. Uh, I guess the closest. That, that would be now would maybe me uh like an aberration okay let me check mm -hmm. something else here yeah huge aberration primordial it's effectively a, a primordial behind all that much like okay. um the boy there or other boy there borum I know where your brain is going, Tasha, and mine <laughs> is also going there. I'm like, does this count? Well, yeah. I mean, it's a it's a high level spell too, and I'm like, this could totally help us, but I don't think it it qualifies. So, dispel evil and good. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. too good option. <laughs> <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost hit my head. That's where yeah, my brain or... is going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it wouldn't fall under like creature either. I, I mean, everything's just... a creature that's like sentient that's walking thought. around that. So it does fall under creature. Okay. 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 Right, any other role play between tonight and waking up for like. Rehunt prep. Hmm? Right. Go ahead and give yourself a long rest in case you need to. And D&D Beyond. And, um, we'll prepare. You'll find your way to the cabin eventually. Get a nice long rest. They're pretty comfortable. Um, <clears throat> Um, you wake up, there's fresh breakfast in the cabin for you. Um, <clears throat> magic in. Uh, it's all hearty stuff, the good balance. You know, there's no carb loading, no office carb loading for the day. It's a <laughs> uh, nice, healthy breakfast, gonna get you set for the day. And um, as you leave the cabin, you see some other people leaving their cabins. So, Tuna, do you have something beforehand? I'm so sorry. Yes, before mm -hmm. we leave, um, I'm going to, like, hang back and, uh, Feora, you don't have to talk about it, especially not today, because I know it's about to happen, but when you do want to talk about it, I'm here. What's it? Yesterday, with fighting us. I know that's something that you struggle with sometimes because it's never been, it's always been forced on you and 
Yeah. If you want to push it away and not think about it, that's also fine. <laughs> but just giving you choices. That's just kind of what I did during it. Yeah. All well, needs to be there screaming. But yeah, so you decide to deal with it a different way. And hey. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I think it sucks that it's what we had to do. But but there's a difference between being locked in a cage behind your eyes and being forced to stab your friends in a real life situation mm -hmm. where you could die from it and a situation where it's stimulated. And I know even after I draw my blade in, it's not going to do any lasting damage. That's fair. I just kind of wanted to check in and make sure mm. everything was all right. I just, I just, it's going to be. I appreciate the check-in. Fair enough. Oh, um, I forgot this, uh, and I pull out one of the jams that Varangon gave me. Uh, I forgot this um, before we left, but um, I know you've already eaten, but just in case. And I hand over a jam. <laughs> I'm sure that, like, eating beforehand means that I can't eat jam now. I mean, just, yeah, no, do go for it, jam. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Okay. Lovely, lovely. Anyone else have anything as you're waking up before you kind of mingle? Okay. If they are can be seen in trying to feed uh, Scully Jam. Oh, I'm so <laughs> cute. Nice. I mean, yeah, Scully will eat it. It's, it's a sight. <laughs> Their little pincer sort of clean off the <laughs> little bit of jam there. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, with that, let's take a quick minute and do our DM inspo. I don't want to miss that before we get into our thing. And I've already forgotten like three separate times. Come on, Dan. All right. Um, in that case, let me know what you get, uh, Carly, when you're all set. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, uh, okay. Who knows? That could be good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I wasted it. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Tasha, how about you? I got an 18, which, like, can I switch now? <laughs> I want that for my persuasion. <laughs> oh, man. Brutal. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> Will, how about you? Three. Oh gosh, okay. And Serena, how about you? I got a six. <laughs> uh, okay, well, Lil's actually going to take it as I rolled a natural one <laughs> tonight. So <laughs> I literally got the exact opposite <laughs> of what I needed. <laughs> it was like, oh, yes. so far off. Oh, oh bummer. Uh, let's see, uh, the level, which I think is a D8 currently. I think at level 12, it becomes a D10. What level are we? Are we level 12? No, we're, 11. we're level 11. Okay. All right, so it should be a D8. I believe at level 12, it goes up to D10, so we're almost there. It's exciting. So D8 for tonight means on anything, anything at all, except a death saving throw. So you want to... Subtract some damage to happen to someone. You want to subtract from a, a creature's saving throw against one of your friend's spells. There's a reaction. Go for it. I mean, it's not a reaction. You don't actually waste a reaction. You just get to do this. So, um, okay. Same with subscriber die, of course. So with that, uh, you all begin. You know, you head out of the cabin. You see other people here now heading out of their cabins. Um. And sort of assembling back in that other area. You see Rasglath. Um, you see the Harpy Queen leaving her cabin and heading over there. You see Kazeel. Um, <clears throat> Serenith is already over there uh, in this other clearing. You see, uh, well, a couple of other interesting folks 
Um, I like which one I'm going in order here. Um, in addition to the people you've seen, you see um, an Aladrin woman seemingly shifted into her, um, I think, autumn form currently. For those that are familiar with Aladrin, they kind of shift uh, each morning into some form, could be the same, might change. Seeming their autumn form, there's just this mystical sense about them. It's this awe-inspiring, uh, very captivating um, energy to them. As they are, you know, Ladrin just uh, have that innately. Um, there is, um, oh gosh, I don't know if any of you have ever seen. Well, uh, I'll, I'll put this here, right here's your... I'll put it up on my forehead because that makes a really good background. <laughs> uh, here's your Eladrin and they're and they're falling. Um, you see an Illithid with uh so Dia, you immediately sense them with Arcana, which is rare for uh mind players. That's what makes them an Illithid or an Alhoon is that they, you know. Because typically minor players dislike Arcana, um, and they're they're sort of ostracized. Usually, the Alhoons are ones that can use magic. So you see an Illithid. But I don't think any of you have seen the one before. So, uh, you know, bald conical head, octopus sort of shape with the big tentacles that droop down, and every so often they they move enough to see like the the piercing, uh, beakers of teeth behind. <clears throat> But um, long flowing, uh, almost a robe of black with a red vest over it and a black cape that kind of billows um, in the wind. They are missing their left hand as well. Um, <clears throat> there's that. There's the Lunch and the Illithid. There is uh, a little off putting at first a Demi Lich. It's a floating skull surrounded by flame wherever it goes. Maybe it's almost the size of Dia, the skull. Um, it has a green uh, gem, giant green gem in one eye and a red one in the other. Um, and it's missing three of its teeth that are apparent. And, uh, but talking with other people, like, Everyone's just sort of a person here, which is, you know, not always what you encounter out in the wild. Um, and lastly, there's a pair of people that, that, gosh, I'm trying to think. The only person that might recognize this would be Fiora. Fiora, can you make a... Um, just to, I guess it's a history check with advantage, and it's a fairly low DC, but this would have been around pre-sundering. Uh, dirty 20. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see this pair walking around. There's a woman, she's she's working her, uh, doing her chain work. These are, these are chains that she's flailing around with little... Um, commas at the end there, little side, mini sites, um, a lot of martial arts work and stuff that she's doing. You recognize from the glow in her eyes and um, the energy around her that she's in uh, ASMR. They used to be like uh, offspring of angels, and beside her, a demon, red wings. You know, tiefling esque, but for you, you know the difference. Um, they're one hundred percent a devil. Also, with uh, maybe from the same area as their boy Rascliff, is they have a, a very heavy Western vibe with the uh, um, the duster and everything else here. They've got a blade in one hand, they're using some magic in the other with the, the reddish and black um, skin, and the two of them seem to be like a pair. Uh, to everyone else, this might just look like, I mean, tieflings are super rare too, but you've got Tuna in the group, so 
<laughs> they might just look like a tiefling. Atuna, I feel like you'll you'll see enough differences to be like that doesn't yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I get wings? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I ace... have eight intelligence. That's my first thought. Is, Why don't I have wings? What a, yeah. <laughs> what a scam. <laughs> um, um, the... Do they say it out loud or is it just like under their breath? But yes. <laughs> nice. Assuming we're all together. Yeah. They're not tieflings. I mean, they look like a tiefling. Uh, they're what? tieflings originate from bloodline-wise. Demon. Uh, wait, I'm part demon. Yeah, you didn't... I mean, it was never really discussed. It was just... Oh, huh. I guess in this prime, it's not as well-known. Yeah. Hmm. Good There's to know. I'll unpack this lesson. later. Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean you'll get wings later? Maybe. I'm mm. thinking I'll grow into them. Mm. <laughs> oh. They were as like <laughs> behind two in a face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Are Tuna's parents human? Since this this can just totally I pop don't out. No, I don't think I ever Tuna's yeah. parents just exist in like <laughs> Mm, right a formless <laughs> kind of thing to me i don't they don't even have names That's like awesome. well, i guess they would be human i mean they could have presented as tieflings too there's maybe a yeah. hundred in the world tieflings okay so they could have been yeah but the more likely they're very likely to be human than they would have been a surprise like yeah <laughs> But this that would also out. make sense, like with Tuna's whole like upbringing and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's really fair. Fit in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, neat. <laughs> and I think I think that's everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, as you make your way over Sarenath, <laughs> ah, good, you're all here. Hmm. I hope you're all just as excited for this thrilling hunt today. No doubt an incredible challenge, but one I believe we will overcome together, as we have many in the past. Now, I'm going to make final preparations. Yeah, and looks over at your crew. I will see to your mounts now as well. While I do, I think it's important to get to know your fellow hunters and kind of looks at everyone at this point um, that you'll all be riding with. Skills and character, at least, before the hunt begins. And walks over. I'll see your beasts over here when ready. Mm -hmm. And steps off to the side. Do you all leave your, your, your mounts at uh, daycare? Okay. I give Gil a lot of hugs. <laughs> yes, I give each head a little smooch on the nose. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Feyor tries to instill the notion of not biting. Into <laughs> Still training. <laughs> Lots of training. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. And uh, Ladrin, are you uh, summoning um, Tempest for that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the scritches and love and all the nice jazz. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me know if you want to. You don't have to role play any of this either. I can give you the quick breakdown if you go and talk to everybody, or if you don't want to talk to anyone and get a feel for their skills. <laughs> Darren is just saying, like, figure out what everyone does so you know your roles. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Just uh, I was like, all right, everyone, don't be grumbly side. Uh, don't be grumbly side grumbles. Come on, let's get around. Let's huddle. Everybody grumbly side grumble. <laughs> That's because you said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Conceal's going to walk. He's already talked. He's just setting a precedent with the new mm -hmm. people and pretends to like engage. Oh, I'll good morning mm -hmm. to you all. I hope um, today goes well. Uh, uh, I had a hearty breakfast and um, you feeling ready? 
absolutely feeling ready. Hey, you heard what the tall woman said. We're all fighting today, so we all need to get to know each other. Get in the circle. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Puna, like, kind of goes wide-eyed and gets in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. I think so Zeal will be like, give you a wink, like, yeah, I get it. Like, and, yes, and then... <laughs> Um, a demi the demi lich comes over the floating skull. Comes over and as it does, its teeth do like the chatter, 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 chatter. <laughs> um, and, uh, <laughs> and then it approaches and pauses. Yes. Sorcerer. Mm-hmm. Beric. Druid. Rogue. Floating skull with eyeballs. James for eyeballs. Hmm. I hold a vast amount of arcana and forbidden arcane knowledge. I will be controlling mm-hmm. the battlefields and mm-hmm. dominating damage output. All right, excellent. And um, then kind of floats back over to where they were. They're just like, matter mm-hmm. of fact, assess, 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 and <laughs> share. Love that. And, yep. Love the participation as I like stare pointedly at <laughs> the, the, the demon and the ASMR. Just, mm. <laughs> nice. They're just still like, you know, uh, they're talking with a couple of the others, but the uh, lantern comes over next. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, can I just have everyone make a quick charisma saving throw? Oh, boy. Uh, and I'm Tuna. actually proficient in those, and oh. I rolled only a nine. <laughs> oh, that's total? Oh, no. <laughs> Do you <like> yeah. It? <laughs> a Legion, what'd you get? I actually got an 18. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Feyora? 10. Oh. <laughs> Is that because you can't get lower than a 10? I don't think that counts towards that. Because oh, it's a saving yeah. throw, right? I'm not right? In it anyways. Right, right. okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, that'd be extra funny. And yeah. <laughs> 13. Hmm. Ladrin. You're still getting that since there's just something very captivating about this person. But it's the same level before. For everyone else, your attention is just drawn to this person. What do they have to say? What do they want to talk about? I'm ready to listen. This is this magnificent person. I already know they're amazing. I haven't talked to them yet, but I'm just sure. Um, as she approaches. What a wonderful group. Strong and hearty adventurers you all are. I've heard so much about you already, and I'm very excited to meet you. Pleasure. The pleasure is all ours, like, honestly. Goodness. I, I apologize for my tone before. That wasn't directed toward you. It was directed toward those two over there. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I, I apologize so much for raising my voice in your direction. These things happen. Listen, you just hold a very commanding presence. You Thank you. I'm. People are listening. There was something about you that I knew would notice that about me. So, right away. thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> well, please tell me about yourselves, and then I'd be happy to share my some of my talents. Of course. Um, my name is Dia. Um, I'm a sorcerer. Beautiful um, name. Me- Thank you. Oh my goodness. You are just, you were so generous with your compliment. It's honestly, it's you don't speak rather, the rather truth enough. That's all. I'm here to make oh, up for that. Goodness. You are a delight. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm afraid to talk about myself too much. I want to hear more about you, but I mean, so I don't hold up the conversation. Yes. Um, uh, most of my magical abilities, uh, well, what, what I've learned to retain has been a lot of just damage output. I don't really diversify too much um, in in what I in what I'm able to do. So that's me. Wonderful. It's good to be very adept at what you're doing. 
Um, I admire that. Um, please, please, I must hear more about you, Miss Tuna. Oh, well, um, I am a cleric of, I always forget, Nicole. Mm -hmm. No, not Merkel. Nicole. Uh, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. Not, not, Merkel. I have not Merkel. I have questions. I have questions if it's Merkel. Very different Jesus. energy. <laughs> Nicole. I'm a cleric of Nicole. Um, I focus mainly on uh, protecting my friends and keeping them safe. Um, and I can also beat the shit out of something if needed. <laughs> but... <laughs> Typically, try to run more protection and healing. That is, I feel you are the true definition of hero. With that, thank uh, you. I am sure. Yes, your friends must agree. Oh, I'm a bit jealous that I haven't been able to to travel with you all and and spend some time in your company. You're if you all... would like to, you're more than welcome to. After the whole debacle with Cassifers, we have an open spot on oh, our lily pad. Have to consider. Hmm. Now that is wonderful. Um. Yes. So damage and 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 what and uh, of all the is, I'm sure you must agree. Primordials. A mixed lot. Nicole. Really? You couldn't ask for a better primordial. So giving. Yes. Pursuit of peace. Clearly, you embody all of these things. Well Thank chosen. you, that's very comforting to hear. <laughs> well, um, and looks at Ladrin. Of course, Ladrin, you're not, you know, under... It's not even a spell, it's like just her presence as an Eladrin. You still think, you know, she's, she's captivating, but it's not like... But still, she's like, and, and you... Uh, do you have Gregory out? Now I do. Okay, nice. Um, I, I, I yes. please, I'd like to hear about both of you. How did you meet one another, and and what 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 are your talents? You are both so just adorably charming too. I have to say. I want to roll my eyes so hard <laughs> at this bedroom. I'm not going to. Um. Was 360. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, this is Gregory. Um, we didn't meet, oh. he just appeared out of nowhere because oh. I'm half arch fay, so he's also fay. That's where he comes in. I see drawn to you, no doubt. Sure. Yep. Mm. Yep. Mm. So druid. Fire damage. Yes, and, and Arch Bay, that's so incredible. I, I felt I sensed a, a, some a enormous bottled energy within you. That's, that's a decent way to put it. I just just recently discovered that, so a lot of things are making more sense. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Are you... Uh... Hmm. Okay. I hope you don't mind me asking. I feel that, um, are those tea leaves I smell? You enjoy tea? Yes. And yes. I hope I'm not imposing. But, and, and rifles through her pockets and pulls out a little satchel, I have some tea leaves spare, mind you. Um, and I would love if if you would take them, um, as a greet as a, as a a bit of a greeting from me to you. They're 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 very rare. Um, they're from the Feywild, and they are absolutely magnificent. You can use them in, in a number of ways. It's sort of a base that helps exponentially increase the effectiveness of other types of teas. Um, and it just the aroma alone. Oh, here, please, uh, smell and, and they're they're yours if you wish for them. I mean, well, if you were trying to buy my affections, this is how you do it. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> she, I'll come she with more takes tea. It. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and it, it's, it like examines it and mm, smells it and like yeah hey, what am i combine this with like nice, nice i i think you'll find it goes well with anything and it'll amplify it's a f if if you dabble in tea to increase you know change effects of things and stuff it'll increase that oh and and it's absolutely divine um i hope you enjoy and if we meet again i'll be sure to just carry around a some extra tea leaves for you just in case yes <laughs> yes because i don't i don't just dabble i'm oh, a connoisseur really? so oh i really want to travel with you all now all the more i will allow it now oh all right oh well hi praise indeed not that it's just mine to say yes to but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen every person is important in the team and Having your go ahead as well. Ooh. Well, I feel honored. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Wonderful. Um, yes, uh, well, um, and of course, fear you fail to say that doesn't mean you, you know, you do you. It's just for role play and funsies. So you can put it in whatever level you want. Oh, I'm making notes. I mean, I'm doing, <laughs> listen. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> um, she'll turn to, um, Vera and hello. Um, certainly we must, uh, uh, can't overlook you, uh, although as your step is so quiet, I, I say I noticed that, um, just light on your feet, or is that a skill? Very impressive. Oh, it is, it's nothing really, it's actually just my boots, they can just make it so that my feet don't make any noise, it's like really helpful, you know, but it, it's not. What, what, what about you? you? You're too modest. No. Clearly, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. lot of skill oh, behind it. Yeah. Yes. Silent Silent Silent. Silent. Rolling <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <first>. oh. <laughs> All respect that she won from Laedra just went straight out the window. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was more towards Feora. Like, <laughs> nice, Jesus nice, nice. Christ. Feora. Failed her Christmas save. I'm sorry. <laughs> you must be very <laughs> dexterous. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> well, what um, profession do you do you hold, or, or, or skills do you carry? I a rogue. You know, I stab people. I pick locks. And... <laughs> I feel that, um, uh, well, I just wish you success in your field. I feel that you have an air of command and presence. I hope you work your way up um, from wherever you are now in your, in your field. Unless you already, I, I feel like you likely hold a high position already, but I suppose a rogue can. Oh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't get much higher than where I'm at. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, well earned, I have no doubt. Um, it's been a pleasure. You are all so kind and, and endearing. Um, a little about me, my name is Ciara. Uh, she, they, and uh, it's first of all again. I, I I feel like saying it was a pleasure to meet you earlier is just such an understatement. Having spent the past few minutes talking with you all, um, I don't know that I have it in my vocabulary to share the sentiment. But um, I am an Aladrin, and I am also a practiced, uh wizard. Um, I bring a lot of studied magic to the table, as well as some inherent uh, fey magic that can be handy sometimes. At, uh, when she says wizard, uh, Feyre's smile like freezes. And... <laughs> oh, no. oh no, have I offended you? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Oh. That's not your fault. Okay. okay. Oh. Well, I'm I'm <laughs> terribly sorry for whatever's happened with with you and wizards. Um, I I 
I know we many wizards carry an ill reputation. Um but uh all of my um I don't I don't dabble in, in, in unethical areas of magic. Um as as some wizards do. It kind of looks over a little bit, gives the slightest side eye to the demi lich. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, back to all of you. Well, um, I know there's many others to talk uh, for you to speak with. And um, when all this is said and done, I, I will give some serious thought to a little travel time with all of you. If you're still can, you know, willing after. Um, and if all goes well. Um, here's to the hunt today. I believe this will be a great success. And uh, quite a learning experience for all of us. Uh, uh, absolutely, of course. You <laughs> take care. And by all means, we're very much open to talk about you traveling with us oh, after wonderful. the events of today. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> well, do take care. I'm going to carry on over here. If you excuse me. I kind of almost glides, you know, over to go talk to, uh, like, because the yell and catch with some other people. Um, Wadron mm -hmm. just stares at everybody. <laughs> like she was such fuck? a delight. Oh She's my goodness! So nice. Oh, oh. oh. I love her. I, I do too. love her. Oh, Wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Carly in me was like. Mm. Mm, she flirt with my woman. Yeah, right, yeah. I was like, I really want to play into this, but unfortunately, two is too stupid <laughs> and too entranced. Awesome. <laughs> There's probably like an eye twitch at one point, though. <laughs> like, like, mm, yeah. like, what's that for? <laughs> That's weird. I think Feyre was entranced until she heard wizard, and then she was like, Guys. Something's not adding up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be a wizard and kind. <laughs> nice. Um, so I'll, I'll just uh, zip along with uh, the ills that comes over next. Mm -hmm. um, and in your mind, speaks directly in your minds. Uh, sorry if this is awkward. My name. Normal for us. For yeah, us. we're rather used to it. Yeah. Wonderful. My name is Elsis. I wield magic and psionics. And then we'll kind of get a glip from each of you. Um, you know, uh, if you're all willing to share anyway on what, what you do. Yeah. Um nice. During the hunt, I will connect us all with telepathy. First, do you all have telepathy? You've got the dragon chat, but they're going to take everyone in the hunt. <laughs> Very, you got it. Saves me a fifth level spell. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, good. <laughs> uh, and they scooch off. And then finally, the demon and the ASMR buddy cop, uh, <laughs> sick cop, uh, come over. Um, <clears throat> And um, the ASMR says first, uh, we get um, uh, and um, mm. Okay. Sorry, that's not the right thing. I pulled up the wrong thing. Um, so sorry. How oh, dare you? <laughs> yeah. Um, the ASMR approaches first. This is um pleasure to meet you all. Um, might I ask what your your specialties are? Magic for myself. Hmm. Uh, mostly offensive. 
actually primarily offensive. I have nothing when it comes to defensive magic. Understood. And that's where I come in. I'm the defensive magic and the healing. Wonderful. Wonderful. And also a little bit of bonking. Oh, lovely. It's good to have that, that tertiary backup. Love it. Um, oh. A druid? Assist <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> yes. Stabs him back. Oh, looks looks to <laughs> demon mag like excited. She got it right. Mm. Wonderful. You just have a lot of that that natural magic emanating. Um, Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um. And uh, looks to Aurora. Hmm. And, and, and you. Stabbing. Interesting. You have a bit of a you hold yourself. Um, so you've trained some um, in, in the art of a monk. Uh, but I, I take it you're more of a rogue? Mm. My monk training was brief but rusty. Uh, um, that's what uh, my skill set entails. Um, mostly uh, monk. Training. Um, I do have a few other um, I can't call them skills because they're not reliable, unfortunately. Um, but inherent abilities that sometimes work and sometimes don't. Um, this is um, my, um, my long time friend. And travel partner, uh, Taryn Cassis. Uh, gestures to the demon. Uh, Taryn Cassis, uh, T E R E N K A S A S. And uh, if she didn't say her name, it's Glindis. Uh, G L I N D Y S. I just realized she might not have introduced herself. <clears throat> um, we were uh, well. Uh, he'll he'll speak of the demon. It is good to meet you all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Compliment Glendis's skills with some magics, sorceress magics. And that's pretty much all he has to say. Oh, he's got the southern thing. Uh, so he said that in the southern accent. Back it up. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. So you're fiendish. Um, well, part of what we're, we've been journeying for is to understand more about what we are. But I suppose... Fiendish. Uh, I'm apparently a, a demon. I don't really know what that means. In this uh... same. We're in the same boat. I just found out that apparently I'm oh. part whatever you are. So that's fun. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. That's why I ask. I'm not just being a piece of shit. No. Like, hey, you know. pleasure to meet you, cousin. And you hold yeah. the hand. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Meet cousin. Cool. I shake his hand. <laughs> Well, all right. I'm glad to have you here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how they're going to assemble us all in this. Um, two of us tend to stick together. But, uh, you know, I think we'll be watching each other's backs. I've heard stories mm -hmm. about, about y'all and how this all came to be. I think that's uh, really honorable, all you've been doing. <laughs> well, all right, with, with that we should we should get ready i think i think um Devineth is just about good it's, it's a pleasure and uh to the hunt you know she says <laughs> awkwardly <laughs> i love her <laughs> <laughs> um right and Sarenith, you know calls everyone uh you're uh, you have fey armor on your creatures. That's what Serenith has bestowed mm -hmm. upon them. Um, just to uh, 
give them that additional protection while out here to leave them out of the battles. Um, it is time, Sarah says. Uh, where are we? Mm. Okay. Now that we know one another, we know the skills of one another, what to expect in battle, we prepare. Gather your seeds. They'll engage in flight as we arrive. And descend to the ground to pursue our target. Um, as well as if an obstacle is too great that stands in our way, we will take flight once again. Uh, she raises her hand as though to go do something and pauses. But if anyone needs to use the bathroom first, now is the time. Because <laughs> we're like running late in our, our bio. Dudo was about uh, to say, can I use the little yes. bathroom? <laughs> Same. <Nice. laughs> That's fine. I'll meet you later. <laughs> we'll, we'll catch up. You go we'll ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll take a 10 minute break. Um, Audio will be hot to chat with us if you like. And we'll catch you all in 10. Yay for the hunt. Woo the hunt. The hunt. <laughs> Lindis would say. <laughs> I love this so much. I love everyone. They're all wonderful. <laughs> I want to be, be besties with all of them, especially my cousin. <laughs> you got so. so excited when you're like, <laughs> yeah, cousin, no. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys have read Dracula. Yes. I'm getting real Quincy P. Morris vibes. Like, <laughs> he is my favorite. Nice. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. I'm going to go find actual food because all I ate earlier was a bag of chips and a granola bar. Oh, so now no. it's time for real stuff. I'm going to yes. also find some food. <laughs> oh, <no>. Awesome. <laughs>
Hmm. <laughs> 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 Not you, friend DM. <laughs> More than so funny. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We've made new besties, and now <laughs> we're about to fight a demon dog. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> a god eating chaos hound this will be fine <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking forward to it <laughs> mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. what? Like that. Mm.
And have you guys seen where um Devora Lazelle's voice actor has discovered ranch dressing? Yes. Oh, I oh have my God, yes. <laughs> it, is, it is the best journey I've ever experienced. Um <laughs> she has bought so much um mm. i thought of her when i put it on my plate with my pizza rolls because mm -hmm. like mm. you gotta dip pizza rolls in ranch oh, it's so much better yeah. you gotta. but like and she she's like i've tried this ranch and then she goes nope nope ranch and it's like my favorite thing <laughs> she's so <laughs> cute <laughs> that's amazing that's, that's so <laughs> precious I don't know why my camera won't focus tonight, but do they not have ranch dressing in like England? She found some mm -hmm. at a store. I it's not as common though, I don't think. Mm. I don't oh. think so either, because like I'm pretty sure half the ingredients in ranch are banned from Europe. So Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Probably for the best, but like eh. Yeah. See, like, and I'm not okay. the biggest fan of ranch myself. Or I, I used to be, but not anymore. But see, she's into the Hidden Valley ranch, but we need to mm -hmm. get her Jack's restaurant. I don't know if y'all have ever had Jack's. I think I it might know. be an Alabama thing. The Teddy Jack's? No, it's just called Jack's. It's Jack's Hamburgers. Their ranch, yeah. I would drink it. It's that so good. good. Oh my. It's that good. Jack's That's Ranch just... and <laughs> Piggly Wiggly brand buttermilk ranch. Piggly we need Wiggly. to give that to her somehow. Let's the go. Piggly Wiggly brand mm. is such good ranch. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Wait, Piggly Wiggly? Yeah. Uh, we don't. Is that it's a... a it's a grocery store. Oh, we do not have that. No. Oh, Ooh. I love a Piggly Wiggly. Mm -hmm. I work we there. Have them in, we have them in Texas. Just not near it, you. It, 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 no, it hates us. Entry. What is my camera doing? What is so interesting behind me? That it <laughs> it's a ghost, it? obviously. It's in the ghost. Apparently. <laughs> Did you switch the settings? I've not done a single thing. Okay. I know mine <laughs> was bothering me only because I switched me. the... Uh, I always like focus more on like me instead of widescreen. And so oh. it kept turning on me a lot. Even know how to do that. Looks like we can focus right now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. But no. Branch, my beloved. I learned a really good thing to do. Make uh I almost called them. I know it's ramen. In my brain, it's Raymond. Uh, yes. Raymond's, the Southern accent has hit, and so everything's going to be bad tonight. Um, ramen it. noodles, mm -hmm. the beef flavored, and you drain all the water off, and you put a packet on it, and you put some ranch dressing in it. Oh, so good. Really? It sounds nasty, but one of my aunt's coworkers taught ranch. me that, and it's like, ugh. I do yeah. prefer, like, I don't like my ramen noodles in their broth for some reason. Me I either. like a stronger flavor tastes better for me when it's, like, yeah. the, just drained with the water, the wet noodles, and mm. the powder I, on top. I leave a little bit, <laughs> mm -hmm. just so it's not just choking on powder, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we say the the Feywild tea leaves that Ladrin was given makes things turn purple so it can just match the aesthetic mm -hmm. that I have going on? Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. Okay. Absolutely. All part of her charm. Perfect. <laughs> I need something to match with the, the theme here. Mm -hmm. I really want ramen now. <laughs> I just bought a case of the beef kind. So mm. nice. it's on the brain. I like to add a I little. also miss ramen. Mm. It's, it's good and cheap. <laughs> add a little. Um, I know. Garlic powder and a pinch of. Um, what is it? Ginger. Paprika? Yes. You know, just a pinch is so strong and then some of the um my gosh what's the sauce dan soy sauce mm. into the broth into, uh, it tastes, and then i make it spicy because i like spicy stuff <laughs> i don't do spicy mm -hmm. give me all the spicy <laughs> i don't i don't like spicy i eat 
buffalo chicken dip, but <laughs> I only eat my own because I don't make it too spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. But I do put buffalo sauce in, you know how they have like the Panera mac and cheese, like yeah. Yeah. that you can buy wow. at the grocery store? Oh, really? You put a little bit of buffalo sauce in that. Mm -hmm. Very Ooh. good. Ooh. Ooh. Because I was going through a thing where it was too bland and my brain was like, no, no, we can't eat bland things because mm. you'll want to not finish them. And <laughs> I don't want to say it because people are eating, but, you know, mm. they won't stay mm. down if you eat bland things. And it's like, yeah. oh, OK. Yeah. So I had to start experimenting. <laughs> nice. That sounds really good, though. Yeah. Nice heat up the mac and cheese with some buffalo sauce. Hmm. I've had a couple good. buffalo chicken dip mac, mac and cheese recipes, mm -hmm. and it's really tasty. <laughs> There's uh, just buffalo chicken dip for some reason uh, is just it's so, so tasty. Good. Yeah. There was one restaurant I went to in Huntington, West Virginia. I do not remember what restaurant it was, but I had buffalo chicken mac and cheese, mm -hmm. and it was the most magical food I've ever had. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have to look up what restaurant it was, mm -hmm. but. I'm gonna have it to sounds... go to. Oh, sorry, no, I'm just saying that just sounds like so good, and I'm jealous of all of y'all's uh, tummies. <laughs> oh right, right. Like roosters. I think it was roosters. Rooster. Oh yes, it we was have roosters. A, we have a restaurant called that, but it's a local like called a Roosters Cafe. <laughs> you used to eat there every weekend. Is Ooh. it one of those that has like the Coke? Uh, like letterboard menus because those are the best restaurants. Oh, yeah. No, they used they used a uh, chalk chalkboards, um, but they could cook. Oh my god, mm. I just can't eat anything but a salad over there now. <laughs> so it makes thing. me sad. Well, <laughs> but it was amazing nice. food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Ten out of ten. I gotta get the uh, ranch from you. The name of the ranch again after so i can look it up the uh, not the piggly wiggly one but the other one that you were talking jack's about. hamburgers yeah. i got you <laughs> thank you thank you see if it's on amazon or anything you know they make it in-house oh son of a bitch okay <laughs> i'll just have to ship mm -hmm. or just go visit yeah yeah just come to alabama it's fun it's nice. fine <laughs> I'm going to find a recipe and see if I can find it. Oh, oh, you're oh there has Thank to be so a much. dupe somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring our wonderful faces back. Hi. And um, I will bring us back into session. Let me... Uh, I'm still playing the tense music. I'm looping it a little bit. Uh, but we'll switch over to some, some proper type and battle music here soon. <clears throat> All right, where were we? Ah, uh, yeah, so. After everyone uses the bathroom and comes back, Sarah continues. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, then let us get this wild hunt away. Reaches her hand up uh, in the air so to grab uh, something, and as she clenches her fist, clouds form above you. Starting from like 30 feet and billowing out to hundreds of feet um the clouds begin to descend around all of you <laughs> get on your mounts and prepare as Off the, we go <laughs> yeah <laughs> get up on your mounts and Ooh. um as, as these clouds settle you see you only have like 15 feet of visibility in them on my mark, we will begin the hunt. Follow the hunters within your vision. Do not lose sight. And we'll soon pass through the haze of the storm. And as she says that, little thunder rolls. And you can feel rain dissipating, forming and falling within the clouds here on you. It's like a mist that's spraying over you. And you hear, for the first time... In this proximity, this close to the horn of the hunt, just resonates 
in your souls and off the hunt goes you see the people within 15 feet in front of you go and so you go you know go just because they're right on the edge of vision there and you you begin running and running and what was you there were trees there before the clouds descended now more is just clouds you're running you're waiting to run into a tree but it doesn't happen just clouds 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 and below you even you lose sight of the ground and instead it is just cloud below you well more heavy thunder rolls um our thunder queued up here too okay um here's just for our, our players let me sneak that in chat with a little thunder ambiance as well <clears throat> um okay you um continue you've set your seat your steeds to the task of of maintaining distance behind the riders in front of you all a myriad of very interesting creatures that the other people are, are riding of course um and race force minutes go by good three or four minutes uh in the darkness of the clouds the low visibility uh, it's requiring all of your attention to stay in the heels of the hunters ahead of you. Finally, uh, clouds begin to part. And over the next few seconds, as they, they fall away, you find yourselves um, atop your mount, striding through the air in a slow descent to half a mile above the ground below. Um, at riding as a pack with Serenith at the front on her direwolf. You take a look around at your surroundings. It's night. The storm is behind you. Here, the clouds, there's no clouds in the sky beyond the storm that you just came from. Can I ask you all to make, um, you can either make a perception check or a survival check. It's up to you. Survival check. Uh, DC is a little different, and that's geared a little more towards where are you. Perception check's a little higher, and that's to notice, pick up anything from up here that might be out of the ordinary. Uh, but your choice. Um, and uh, yeah, two, let me know what you get. 14. Perception. Ooh. Perception, okay. Um, with a 14 perception, you, you see a heavily wooded area below. Uh, that blows your camera focus out because your camera hates you tonight. <laughs> I looked off of my screen for two seconds to click on another tab, and I... That's so wild. You know, I'm just going to hold up a picture yeah. of something <laughs> so I don't look. move. That's so funny. <laughs> I, literally that? nothing has changed in my room. I want to say that. There is nothing different than my normal setup. Anyways... <laughs> Kira has it out for you. It's, it's so does. Wild. So does everything else right now. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Um, so you notice a heavily, heavily wooded area. There's some mountains off to the left. From this height, half a mile up, you can see um, some of the ocean waters off to the east. Off to the right, you seem to be traveling north. Um, yeah, but that's all you pick up with the 14. Those around um uh, you do with the 14 you see some of the lights of a a lot of bright lights in the distance some settlement with a fair bit of light to maybe sunhaven um maybe something else um ladren uh what did you get wish roll did you do um i did survival and i got a 24. oh okay yeah you were you were um just west of Sunhaven. Um, these are the forts. You see the lake. You see Sunhaven. The lights of Sunhaven. The mountains. Uh, water, the ocean waters off to the east there. Um, and you're approaching. Uh, you're headed north currently. Um, you have a very good idea with that role of exactly where you are because you've traveled this once before. I mean a few times, but most recently with your friends here. Um... Bayora, how about you? And, and which role did you do? Uh, I got a 21 perception. Perception. Okay. 
Um, so as you look around, you're taking in you know all that that Tuna perceived. Um, you also see in a few spots in the forest, uh, a good deal further north in the direction you're headed. Um, a disturbance in some of the clearings of the trees. It's like a green glowing trail here and there that you pick up uh, with your keen eyes uh, from this far. Um, yeah, likely, I mean, trail-wise, looks like, you know, a single quadruped. So it probably has its trail of grossness, but we'll see. Um, and Dia, yeah, how about you? And which did you roll? Uh, I got a perception. I used perception check and mm -hmm. got a two. Okay. It's a starry night and there is trees down below. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Ocean mountains. <laughs> you know, you pick up all the basics. Like, mm, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, Serenith Ray pumps her arm a few times, uh, you know, with the hunt. And once again, blows on the horn of course this is where here in the prime where you experienced it all once before not too far from this area um and you you feel that this is is indeed resonating out a mile in every direction uh she blows the horn a lot of the other uh, members of the hunt cheer um the riders cheer uh and the wolves how she's got her pack of wolves oh racing through the um, the sky. You're going at like supersonic speed. It's, it's incredibly fast now in this descent. And the, with the horn blowing and everyone cheering and the, the wolves um, howling, um, you feel this rise. You're in the moment. This is your opportunity to let loose and ride with the energy of the wild hunt if you wish to. Let me know who wants to like embrace it. Uh, tuna, yeah. Tuna definitely is. Nice. Ladrin <laughs> embracing. All the naturey, like let's just do it. Ah! Let's just go. Nice, <laughs> Feora. That sounds exciting. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and Dia. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So, with that, you're you're just. Filled with this energy, the intensity of it all. Yeah, you're on the hunt. You're taking Keza down. Those fuckers came to you in, their, in your dreams and tried to, to screw with all of you? Not today. You're going to hunt one down and... and, and uh, I, I have a terrible saying that I just shouldn't say, so I'm going to skip that. <laughs> it almost slipped out. And you're going to kill it. Um, because you've all given in to this energy and you're riding with the wild hunt full force... Give yourselves 10 temporary hit points. You each gain death ward. So if you, <laughs> if you, for whatever reason, I mean, it's a battle, right? If you die, if you fall unconscious, instead you rise back up with one hit point. And each of you get to add 3d8 force damage to any Damn, set of damage rolls you do at the end you roll 3d8 and add force damage to it you are hyped you are part of the wild hunt <clears throat> all right did you say we got temporary hit points right Ten temporary hit points yep okay it should okay. be a i think there's a separate box where you probably already know but it's okay um yep, 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 yep. nice all right um you descend uh you continue to descend the horn blows again each time this horn blows now that you've all given into the hunt you too can feel the direction of the quarry you know in what direction Kezif is and you'll kind of lock on to that when the horn blows um together you land without breaking pace you continue through the relatively dense forest now on the ground <laughs> at these breakneck speeds you're you're dodging your mounts you're dodging trees and you're you know ducking below limbs and stuff um trampling uh brush underneath branches whipping as you pass through the wind in your hair uh and the mixture of fear and excitement kind of bubbles uh as you gain 
on your deadly quarry, Hesif the Chaos Hound. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the synchronized movement of the flock of riders that you're in, and the wolves racing uh, and, and mounts at top speed through the moonlight forest is definitely a thrilling experience to be a part of. Let's see. Serenith yells back as you are racing through the woods. Our quarry is near. Sharpen your minds and steal your resolve. We're hunting a god killer. Um, it's time to keep an eye out for Kezif. When the horn goes off, that's when you can sense what direction they're in. That only goes off once a mile, so now, now you've got to use your survival instincts. So go ahead and make a survival check, everyone, to help out keeping an eye out for Kezif. Um, Tuna! <laughs> what get? It's a 10. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> you're just keeping a careful eye out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your camera's like a 10? Let's do... <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, outrageous <laughs> so wild I feel for you today <laughs> uh, <laughs> later what would you get for survival <laughs> uh, not as good as before it's a 14 14 okay you two are just keeping a careful eye out as you navigate the woods here oh. um, Fayora 12 well same thing eyes peeled uh, you don't want to be caught unawares. And Dia. Um, survival check for Dia? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a 10. 10. Okay, same thing. Just keeping a careful eye out. <clears throat> um, you see Sarah raise her hand and the pack begins to slow and break out into you quickly notice everyone's forming so you hear in your mind the telepathy Serenus voice thanks to um our, our illithid uh Elsis. the hound is near surround them and you all naturally kind of follow the circle to make this this enclose um hopefully uh because if you haven't spotted them yet but as you begin encircling this area through the brush in the distance, the massive rotten form of Kezif can be seen. This creature is bigger than you imagined. Um, but you quickly encircle the Chaos Hound, their eyes glaring at you. Well, four of you in particular. <clears throat> um, yes. So you, you encircle and Serenus this wait be with they'll assess them for a moment um, I have to do a roll for one of her people though mm. a quick yes question we mm -hmm. are we are I, I know you said like trees We're, are we in the foresty mm -hmm. area yeah okay so that's with my ranger stuff. That's my favorite terrain. Nice. Um, so I get all sorts of benefits for us. Nice. Good, good. If it's been a while. Okay. okay. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, perfect. Favorite terrain. This nice snowy forest. Um, as we're back in December. Um, yeah. Uh, you hear someone break formation, though. RP Queen. Um, can't say anything out loud. And you hear almost a, like a battle cry in your minds. Um, and she says, I'm trying to think of something arrogant to say. It's arrogance that's got her good doing this. And just her anger. And you can quickly tell as she. she Fuse for something that just, you know, yeah, we rolled a seven. Um, thinking she knows best, she leaps forward and um, to engage Kezif and the Harpy Queen. 
has a many times larger strikes. Harpy Queen dodges. She dives in, drawing a, a wide broadsword to run up Kesef's side. And it does, it cuts through some of the rotten meat that just sloughs off onto the ground and turns to maggots and covers the, the snow. Um, Kesef rolls over and catches her under a paw, pins her to the ground. And she cannot get up as Kiss of bites and bites and bites and bites and has a fifth attack biting. There is not much left of the Harpy Queen. It's she's hardy, but that's a mangled body that's left there. You're not sure if she's able to breathe, if she's conscious. But she's not moving as Kesef lifts the paw up. And Serenus says, follow my lead. Patience. And starts giving orders to different people to go, like, a, a battle, quick battle plan. In the next, like, 10, 15 seconds, she's just ramble off, like, you do this, you do this, get you this stuff ready. Um, and for all of you, it's it's basically follow your gut, support as needed, attack as needed. And Serenith runs in on the, on the direwolf, stands on the saddle, and leaps off as the as she's up in the air, drawing from the smoke a huge battle axe that forms, comes down. It has like a, a galaxy look to the blades, like you're peering. It, the blade moves, but the galaxy's fixed inside, so it looks like it's cutting. Who comes down, and as she's coming down, Kesef looks up. And the direwolf goes for the throat and ends this intense fight. So, a few things. I'm going to switch this over to this. Um, see if this is going to work nicely. Unfortunately, Kenneth is very tiny here because that's the only thing I had. Uh, we have. Um, Serenith fighting one on one there. Can't see their wolf. But we have everyone else here. They're ready to go. And circling. Creature. There's the Harpy Queen. Unconscious. I mean. And even back and may I ask the four of you to may to roll initiative, please? Okay, this is something I should have asked before. Hmm. So if the answer is no, that's fine. Could I have gotten one diamond from Ladron before we started all of this just to have on me? Absolutely. Yeah. From the bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just in case I need to revivify mm -hmm. mid battle. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, where's my list? I still have a hundred gold pieces of diamond dust. Do you want that or do you want the No, actual... I want a diamond so I can revivify if I need to. Just in case we're like... Is that 300? Yes. Right? Okay. Just in case we're mid-battle yep. and don't have time to wait until after the battle ends for me mm -hmm. to grab it from you. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Nice. You never know. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. You're definitely in your battle prep in the morning. You definitely could have done that. Yeah. Um, all right. So we'll do initiative. Let me know. Two know what you get once you got it. 22. Wow, nice. It's not great for a cleric. <laughs> no one needs to use yet. <laughs> uh, Ladron? A natural 20 for 23. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, Fayora. 29. 
Jeez. Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> Deora and Dia? 19. Damn. Wow. I know. <laughs> Look at us. Awesome. Awesome. We really said fuck this dude in particular. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, amazing. Uh, let's see. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Okay. And here we go. Let me just scroll up so I got our other people. All right, well, Feyora, you got the highest, so it's your turn. What do you want to do? <laughs> um, I'd like to be able to move into flank, but I'll probably just end up using the turn to get across from them. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't need to flank. Because I'm a rogue. Mm -hmm. So I guess how much movement would it take to get there? This is 30. 30 um, um, and that would be down. there. 30 feet will get you. They take up four spaces. I mean, they take up a little more, but you're adjacent to them right now with 30 feet of movement. Okay. Then I want to try and stab them. Go for it. Yay. Does a 32 hit? A 32 hits, yeah. Does a 20. That's amazing. Wait, is it a natural 20? Yeah. Okay, so okay. that's a critical hit. Yeah. Nice. Come nice. on, do you get sneak attack on that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. And don't forget your 3d8 force damage at the end of everything. I won't. <laughs> All right, initial damage is 15. Do I double the sneak attack? You double, you double every dice every that you roll, you roll for a damage, you double. Okay. Well, I'll roll the first sneak attack then. 20. Oh, yeah, jeez. 26. And you said 3d8? Mm hmm. Are, are you saying we're at 26 total for sneak attack? No. Those were two different damages, the original and then sneak attack? Yeah. Because oh. you would double the 3d8 as well, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and then your 3d8? Jesus. <laughs> this man's not going to last long enough for us to hit him. <laughs> okay, well, the first 3d8 was 13, and then the second 3d8 was 11. Jeez, Jeez, okay. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Yay, I'm helping. <laughs> You're definitely going to turn some heads with going first and... Because <laughs> this that's the fastest one of everybody. All the other people, too. With their rolls. Um, Alright, let me just do the math here. Um, that's a difference of... Um... Oops. Go. Okay. And you carve a chunk of, of rotten flesh off of Kazef as you as you slice and slice and dice, and the force damage just blows a chunk of it off. Um, the, the rotten smell is pungent as you get that close, but you, you doesn't matter to you. Careful aim, you do all that. Do you have another attack you're doing? Um, I don't have any movement to move anywhere, so I'll just try and hit them with the off hand. Yeah. Yeah. Sixteen? Does not hit, unfortunately. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> so, Ladrin, you'll be up next out of, out of player characters, but there's a couple of these other ones that have their stuff real quick. Um, I won't go too much into the detail because I don't want to take away from what you're doing. Um, but uh, Raskleth, the Mummy Lord, um, pulls a hand, almost like drawing a pistol, pulls a hand out and his wraps come off with five different uh, rows and um, bind as if 
egg um, is approaches a little bit. Um, <clears throat> runes begin to alight on the ribbons of cloth and they begin to burn from his end like fuses over to Kezef before igniting where they wrap around Kezef's leg uh, causing a big explosion fiery explosion around Kezef's leg maggots and meat fly everywhere dealing um, a world of damage in the background Dealing um, a bunch of damage, though. Um, uh, that would be like this. Okay. Wow. All right. Um, doing a fair bit of damage. The leg still and the bones and sinew still intact, uh, and some meat left on there. Um, they're a kind of a zombified hound to start with. Um, but clearly took some damage from that. Um, the Harpy Queen, they actually have to make a death saving. Yeah. Put it down. Um, <clears throat> Kazeel. Okay, again, I'm gonna just try and zip through this because I don't want to hunt up. Um,. No, he knows better than to use that. Is going to use... First, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Zeal hustles past the mummy. In a, in a coordinated effort, the mummy kind of used their movement to walk with Kazeel. Runs over to you, Tuna, and touches your shoulder. And uh, if you are willing to receive the spell he's going to cast on you. Sorry, sure, I think. trust him. <laughs> Why not? You have, for the next eight hours, you have foresight. Um, oh. You can see into the immediate future. For the next eight hours, you can't be surprised. And you have an advantage on your attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Um, additionally, other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Okay, bitch, let's go. Right, and that is not concentration. Okay. All right. He's let's like, <clears throat> here, into the endless possibilities, he says, and taps you on the shoulder. Um, and then looks... Okay. <laughs> nice. And he, he'll do a quick, he'll look over your shoulder after doing that, draws a violin quickly from his back, and plays, like, just a quick six-second riff, um, looking at Dia, and, like, um, show them all your prowess, you know, show them all your prowess, and you have bardic inspiration, you've got a D12, I believe, is the max. Ah, uh, sick. Mm hmm Okay. All right, um, so that's his uh, action, action. That's all he's got. I'm so sorry to. I don't want to lollygag on them, uh, but I do want to build out the fight. So we'll um, let's see. That was Kazil. Uh, next up, Ladrin, then Tuna, on deck. So Ladrin, what have you got? Um, I would like to move. Okay, so where everyone is in the middle to the left, where I'm at, I want to move 40 feet. Um, 
Kind of diagonally and up. <laughs> this way? Oh, towards the door? Uh, the other way. The other way. So going through or around the girls? 10, 20, 30, 35. You can get here with 40 feet. Uh, go back the other way to the right. This way? Uh, yes. Any more or right here? Um, let's do... Uh, want two more if I can, just to be right next to that tree. Mm-hmm. Right here? Or do you um, want to be yes, like but on here? the other side. Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, bonus action, guardian of nature. I'm going to start sprouting leaves from my hair. Mm -hmm. And skin's gonna be all barky. So I get an extra um temp temporary hit points. And all the extra stuff. Um, okay, bonus. So for my action, I'm going to try to, I'm going to use my bow and try to fire an arrow at him. And I get advantage because it's a dex weapon. Okay. In this in this tree form? Nice. That's... Okay, that's a 25 to hit? <laughs> yep, that'll hit. Okay. Um... So I'm gonna separate it nine points of piercing. Mm -hmm. Um... One point of lightning damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then. 3d8, right? 3d8, yep. And then seven points of force damage. Nice. 17 yeah. altogether? Okay. Perfect. Yeah, all right, beautiful. <laughs> all right, yep. Successful hits that arrow thong, sticks into gets this uh, portion of their back up near the spine that's still relatively intact, hasn't rotted away. Anything else for you on your turn, Adrian? Um, no. Although the ground, just for like if if he like Kassif comes towards me within fifteen feet of me is difficult terrain just for oh. him. Okay, that's awesome. All right. Um, Tuna, you're up next. Okay, I do have a question very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so, would spell attack... Oh! I'm blurry. <laughs> I don't care. Would spell attack rolls mm -hmm. count as attack rolls for foresight? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. In that case, I'm going to cast a second level Guiding Bolt at Kezif, oh, okay. um, which would be with advantage. Oh, God, that's beautiful. That's a 27. Okay, yeah, that one 100% hits. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fix my camera, and then I'm going to... That is 5d6 Radiant Damage, which I didn't roll great on, so that's 14 Radiant uh, Damage. Okay. Plus 3d8, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is 11 force damage. Nice. Right, 11. And then that is all I can do. I'm also going to, uh, I'm just going to charge as well and just be up in his face because okay. I, I want to be up in his face. Nice. This is personal. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, mm -hmm. 20. 25 feet will get you in melee range. Bet. Perfect. Nice. I can't do anything this turn, but I'm there for if I need to. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> is, okay, Feora mm -hmm. is next to him, correct? Uh, in between the two of you is there enough, but Feora's right here. Okay. Yep. Okay, so I can't get to Feora. Okay, never mind. We're good. Okay, uh, just before Dia um, is Sarenath. Oh, don't sign me out. 
Theranos with that battle galaxy battle axe um, is going to hack away um, with four attacks. Oh, this isn't. oh no, it doesn't. Please. All right, they did get one miss. Um, <clears throat> they rolled so poorly. Uh, all right. Uh, we have the damage rolls. I'm rolling so poorly. There we go. That's better. And the third attack hit. Oops. Okay. All right, deal. So, um, three out of Serena's four attacks. So she's just like, ah, ah, almost in a rage, just bringing the blade around. Very fluid movement that just cuts right through, like chunks of meat and muscle on Keza. Keza seems unfazed. They're definitely taking damage, but you can very quickly tell they're they're definitely a lost guy. They've got a lot of HP. Um. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, sometimes maggots kind of fill the space in and turn to, like, a gooey mesh that kind of keeps things intact. Um, but you not meat anymore. It's that stuff in some areas, so. Uh, right, that brings it down to... Okay. <laughs> That's there. So, Dia, your turn is up. Now, we'll come back to Feyora, but your turn is up for now, Dia, and then the last one. Okay. Thing. How far away am I from Keza? And you are here so Okay, and can will he I know is he's massive size, so he's not getting any benefit from cover, is he? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then what I would like to do um, I am going to spend, uh, let me make sure that I have the right amount of... Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is spend two sorcery points to make the cantrip Mind Sliver a bonus action with Mind Sliver. So Kazif needs to make a DC 17 intelligence saving throw. Ah, uh, I rolled a natural 20. Unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, and sorry. then for my action, I am going to cast Disintegrate and spend three sorcery points to give him disadvantage on his dexterity saving throw. Uh, so I'm so sorry. I know this is a pain in the butt with, with the spells. Mm -hmm. so, um, so... Whatever, if you cast uh, any level spell you want as a bonus action, so if you want to do disintegrate and make that a, a bonus, mm -hmm. trip, but then your main action has to be a cantrip. Okay, but there are bonus action cantrips though that, uh, and I specifically have the meta magic feature that allows me to change any spell into a bonus action. So if that is the case, I, I'll, 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 I'll ask so that. Sorry, yeah. Then. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, it gives I'll, you more options for because you can take your I, action ones to make them bonus, but I, it always uh, okay. comes down to whatever level cantrip has anything, uh, but then the action. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, then I will do... I will move uh, then uh... Uh, across the field so that um, for my action then move across the field so that uh, Kazef is in a line away from like I have a like direct line attack then that'll be like you'll be next to the girls and you'll have a very direct line okay and that's my turn okay neat all right sorry um <clears throat> Okay, um, that's going to bring us to, let's see, oh, it's time to yell, that's fine. 
All right, we've got... I'll just quickly pass through these and I'll roll the damage when I get back on the next person's turn. We have uh, the uh, Glindus and, and Terran Cassis, and the two of them go in with a combination of magic and monkly um, attack powers. <laughs> Each thing on the flank. Um, they're going to stay here. And they're going to yeah use a beautiful combo of um, magic and monthly goodies here. Um, let's say we've got some beautiful. Um, they stay invisible for that. Wow. Okay, so you see her run up and she turns invisible. But you start seeing the fists impact the, the hindquarters of Kazef, and you know she's there. Fists, feet, um, and then the magic from the uh, demon follows up. And I'll roll that in a second. So we've got all that pulled up. Um, that brings us to the Illithid that has... Um, you don't see anything. You see it lean forward and put a hand to its temple. Uh, so it's dealing a, a psychic uh, shock. To them, and I will roll that. I can roll that off to the side. And the Demi Lich, um, where are we? Is this the one? Here we are. <clears throat> Quickly attempts um, a spell you probably haven't heard. It's Feeble Mind. <laughs> um, what is this? A yes. What kind of say? All right. Um, now they unfortunately they take damage, but they succeeded on their intelligence saving throw. Is anything else? Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. So they tried feeble mine. I'll roll that damage as well here. Yeah, but while I'm doing that, that'll bring us back up to Feora at the top with Bladron on deck. Uh, let me know what you'd like to do, Feora. If I do some damage calculations here. Yeah, this is really going to surprise everybody. I'm going to try and stab it. Nice. Go for it. Really shot the crowd with that one. Um, is it 21 hit? The 21 does oh, hit. Thank goodness. Alright, initial damage is going to be 13. 13, okay. okay. And then sneak attack. So yummy and delicious. Oh, the dice are blocking the total. That's cute. <laughs> Just wait for that to disappear, I guess. Alright, 18. And then I'll roll the force. Mm hmm. 18, okay. And the force, 18. And that's a 14. 14, okay. Yeah. And then I'm gonna try and stab with the other hand. Mm -hmm. Yay! He's on a roll. Does a 26 hit? 26 hits. Wow, you're all crushing it. Like, jeez. Wow. That's crazy. All right, that one doesn't get the modifier, so... That is a 2. And then... Do I add the force to that as well? Um, this is, is your like offhand attack, first? and... Uh, yeah, 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 yep. With any attack damage, with any damage roll you do. Of the attack hits. Okay, that one's an 11. Alright. Alright. Um, oh. Alright. Mm -hmm. As if getting, you know, stomped a little bit, getting hurt. Um, let's see, after Feora, but before Ladrian was. I wish you'd stop signing me out. 
Okay. Who are Mummy Lord? Okay. Um, they're gonna go and do uh, their wrap attack since that worked so well last time. They're gonna go for the hind, uh, the other front leg. They're gonna try and go under and around. Oh, the natural one. Okay. Sorry, Razna. Um, yeah, they opted to do that big move instead of the magic. So that's that's their turn. Unfortunately, misses as Kessa, you know, rears out of the way. Um, Harpy Queen's gonna do another death thing, okay. Um, Kazeel comes in and is going to. No, he knows that wouldn't work. No, nope, that would get everybody. Dun, 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 dun. Draws, uh, he's going to approach and draw his swords. He does need to flank, but can achieve that with um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's pretty kitty board. He can get under this tree here to really to properly. Oops, excuse me, so sorry. To kitty corner flank with Fayora. All right, he's going to do his, um, let me just see if the attacks hit, and I can do the damage after. Oh, that one misses. That one hits. And that one hits. Okay, two. Excellent hit. Uh, goes in and draws the two blades, <laughs> carves it, and sheaths the two swords. And, um... That's all in his, his actions. So, um... Fiora, and he's gonna look under Kezef through to you. Uh, and just be like, that's the way, because you've just been like carving into it, and give you inspiration too. There's a D12, Bardic inspiration. <clears throat> okay. And then it was back to Ladrin, and then Tuna's on deck. Do we lose her? Yeah. <laughs> Internet issues. Oh no. Yeah. I'm trying to reset it. Okay. Um. Thank you. <laughs> how? How hurt ish is Kesef looking? Uh, I mean, they've taken some damage. Kesef's looking very hardy at this this moment in time. They've taken, you know, they've taken. A lot of damage, um, but they're still looking pretty hardy. Okay. Um. What? Okay. Going to cast a fifth level forging ray. Okay. Nice. I can, the and I believe that is six uh, rays all together, and I get advantage because of my uh, tree set. Oh, okay. Let's try anyways. Um, first one, 16. 16 misses, unfortunately. Okay. Second. 26. 26 will hit, absolutely. Okay. Third one. 28. 28 hits, it's two hits. Fourth one. 26. Oh, that'll hit. Mm -hmm. Uh, fifth one. Twenty-five. That'll hit. And last one. Twenty-seven. Okay, that's five hits out of the six. Before you roll damage, what do you want it to look like? Five fourteen rays. <laughs> Ooh, 
Um, well, I would imagine the, um, her vinery tattoos, like you can see the, the blue, um, lights or whatever. I'm pretty sure she's still wearing gloves, but you can kind of see it like pulsing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she's just going to kind of like have it dance in her hands, like as a little tiny blue fireball mm -hmm. and then just kind of like throw it as a <laughs> baseball, just boom, 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 boom. Okay. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Five heads going roll damage for those. Uh, that's, I think it's going to let me. Um, Five, five, two d six. So that's ten. D six. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a lot of fucking dice and a lot of. Ew, there's more ones. Twenty three <laughs> points of fire damage. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah. And then better. Thank you. Fifteen points of force damage. Nice. Better than last round. Thirty-eight. Okay. Um, Beautiful. Okay, so that was action. Bonus. Um. <clears throat> How far away is? Let's see. Wait, hold on. What's my range? How far were you from Keza? No. Uh. Well. Yeah. Yeah. You are five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-eight. You're thirty feet away. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to. Oh wait. No, I cast a spell. Um. Okay, never mind. I don't think I can do anything else. Okay, that's it. Okay. Well, let's see. Our after Ladron was was Tuna. We'll just put a pin in Tuna in case they, they come back for this round. And um, before Dia was, okay. it was just before Dia here. Get that we had. Uh, well, right, it's Serenith. Um <laughs> Okay, uh, they're just gonna go ham and um. You know what, before they attack, we're going to use their bonus action and rally everyone and just give some, you know, uh, quick orders to everybody, rallying everyone up, um, find work on this and gives like individual, like quick compliment on everything you're doing right to each of you. Um, Continually, we'll cut the beast out in no time. It rallies everybody. Um, so she got play. okay on your um, next turn until it goes back around to Serenith. Everyone gets they have one extra action on their turn, so you can do whatever you want with that attack. Is that, you know, whatever you can do with an action. Um, let's see. Then she's just going to do her attacks and I'll roll for the attacks after. That's the second attack. Um, oh, natural one. Um, okay, that's the four attacks for Serena. Three, which hit. I will roll for that as we go back over to Dia. Dia, what she got? Okay, so <laughs> now that we have the extra action, now I think I can do this. 
Yes. Uh, I'll, use, yeah. <laughs> I'll use my extra action to attempt to cast Mind Sliver again. So Keza needs to make a DC 17 intelligence saving throw. Okay. Don't need, that is a failure. Amazing. So as if takes um now is the force damage for every uh attack or spe uh, for every spell for everything that does damage uh, or is any... it just like once on your turn um uh, let's see it's technically for once on your turn okay uh... then i'll save it for i'll save it for the big whammy then yeah Okay, so Kezif takes 11 psychic damage, mm -hmm. and they have a, they subtract 1d4 for the next saving throw it makes before the end of its next turn, Ooh. which is coming right up because okay. I have been for my, for the, for my main action, because that was the additional action we got. So for my main action, I will cast Disintegrate and spend three sorcery points to give Kazif disadvantage on top of the D4 that Ooh, built the Okay, what's their, um, what it's type? A, it's, a, it's a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, that first one is a 20, but that's, we need disadvantage. Yeah. Ah, I rolled a natural one, which now you get a butt. It's going to use one of its uh, legendary things to automatically succeed. Okie dokie. Then, then that's it because uh, disintegrate is not a save for half. It is, uh, it hits or oh, it doesn't. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. It, it's, it's supposed. Burned. It's it's mm -hmm. a, yeah. It's for those. It's for this exact moment because it makes big baddies have to use their legendary <laughs> actions, legendary resistances to not get any damage. So. <laughs> Love it. You see it almost yet it uses it off and it gives that glare back like it's just lost one of its three <laughs> charges on it. Yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, anything else for Dia? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to Did see. You do have an extra action. Yeah, I use that to cast, uh, I use my extra action to cast Mind Sliver oh, as an action. Okay. okay. Uh, gotcha. uh, and so I suppose I don't really have, oh shit, where is everyone else? Okay. He is surrounded, uh, and it's a. Oh wait, Kevis is massive. So you let me know mm -hmm. if. Oh no, I can't do that. I have to use a cantrip. Never mind. Never mind. Dang it. Okay. So, I think that is my turn. I might expend some sort. Let me see if I can actually get that six level spell slot back, uh, with my sorcery points. Uh. Meta magic sorcery points. It only goes up to fifth level, so I guess yeah. I'm going to assume that you can only get up to fifth level spell slots mm -hmm. back. Yeah. Um, so that's totally fine. <laughs> um, so that is that is my turn. Um, I'll say you should have a cantrip from that first one. Your first action that you didn't end up using, you used the second one to cast the spell, I mm -hmm. believe. So that first one still leaves you with an action cantrip if you want. Like a cantrip to use as the action. Uh, no, because I used the extra action that we got from the mm -hmm. rally to cast Mind's Liver, which is an action spell. Okay. Uh, and then for my actual action, mm -hmm. I used Disintegrate. Um, oh, as the act. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, see? Nice. All right. Okay. Beautiful. That's me. Ooh, <laughs> some huge spells flying here. This is amazing. Um, all right, that's uh, after Dia. It's the last one, but I'm just going to kind of go uh, down the list again. The um, Glindus striking, um, opening up some wounds along the, the uh, hindquarters there. Um, let's just see what she has. Oh, nice. Uh, Miss. Um, a natural 20. Uh, so I'll do that damage in a minute, um, as well as uh, Terran Cassis. Here in Cass, this is going to... That's not the one I want. There it is. Um, yeah, that's huge. That would get everybody. <laughs> um, Alright, please uh, know that the say Everything is huge. There's got to be one that just single targets here. Alright. 
They reach out their hand and a massive blade of disaster appears. Three foot long, um, blade shaped planar rift. Okay. <laughs> um, this blade is just a rift, it's an arched rift in space. Acts like a blade and, and rolls over and goes to slice um, three times into Pezef. Let me just see if this is a. Uh, two, okay, mainly spell attacks. It's two attacks, sorry, not three. One of them hits. And I will do that damage as well. Um, on the side, put the dice on the side. And then. Well, who else we got here? Um, ah, the Eladrin. Yes, yes. Alright, what's she gonna... Where's my... Um... There we go. She's going to use... He's going to cast Invulnerability on Theraneth, who will now be immune to all damage until the spell ends. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm like, that's weird. Kez is just really getting her ass handed and entirely forgot to write down Kez's turn in the order here. So let me do that, and Kez is just going to do two turns worth of goodies to keep this interesting. <laughs> uh, but we'll finish out, you know, this first real quick. Who else is on? Was after them. Um, right, Elsus uh, is going to once again use their their mind blast. And let's save. Not for Kez, that's a failure, so I'll add that. And the Demi Lich, oh my gosh. Um, but they failed with the Feeble Mind. They're going to. Jeez. Alright, they're gonna call Lightning. Okay. All right, I've got damage to add real quick, um, and then we're gonna do Kezif's Kezif's two turns, which I can plan to have. The first one is before Serenith was immune to damage. The other one is after. Um, and coming right after Serenith. Okay, uh, let's see. That's. Uh, I'm so sorry, but really quick here. Right, um, they had two hit. Okay, and then, um, jeez. And then lastly, they had one of the rest hit, which was. <laughs> okay. All right. Hacking away at Kazif. Kazif <clears throat> um, isn't doing any of that just yet. Um, okay. Uh, is doing their bite, attack, and claw on Serena first, uh, which hits. Hit, misses, hits, and misses. All right, three hits. So let me just do Saren. So in that first round, Saren would have just taken a bunch of bites. Three, a bite and two claws from from Keza, uh leaving deep rots in, in her skin from the attacks. And, and the, but even one of the Keza's teeth just stuck. Here, like uh, protruding from the front of her shoulder, just a tooth that was left behind. On the second round, Hitsif is going to do a cleaving, uh, use their, their cleaving attack. 
Um, which means they get three instead of five. Uh, which is gonna. Oh gosh. A 29, which I think will hit Tuna and Feora. As well as it's gonna go rake across all three in front of Kezif there. Um, they have three of these. That one is. I believe we'll roll. Um, an 18. Does that hit um, uh, Feora? An 18 is not hitting. I don't think it hits. I don't think it hits Tuna either. Uh, let me do a quick peek at there. I think that was 21. Oh, nice. Okay, thank you. Good. And that second one is going to miss everyone. That rolls even worse. Wow. Yeah, there's 20. Okay, so only one of those attack hits. And there's where my days go for it. Thirty points of slashing damage, unless you have any resistance to that. Uh, Thirty points of slashing, just the one attack cleaving attack, um, which they only got three instead of the five because they cle chose to cleave. That's, That's it. For the second round. And mm -hmm. was I one of the people hit for that? Was that? Was that who was hit for that? Uh, uh, you uh, and, uh, Tuna, and just Tuna, just the one time. The one time. Um, they, um, missed they missed the other two the other attacks. attacks. They rolled super low. Super low. Um, I'm gonna use my reaction for Uncanny Dodge to have that. Okay. Right. So what, what was it? 30 was it? 31? 31? Uh, so it'll be 16 points of damage since we round up. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see, poor, poor Carly had their, their internet bust out, but what I'm going to do is put a pin in Tuna's turn for this round, um, and we'll plug that in, but in this very moment, here's what's happening at the end of, um, the second round. It stops reloading my stuff. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> With that second, uh, Cleva, after everyone uh, finishes their attacks this round, Hezif's eyes dart around and, and it registers that the Wild Hunt, this pack of people, is a real threat to Kezif. Um, and Kezif leaps running away, leaps over everyone behind them that's running away. So, Tuna, Feora, and... Um, Fazil and um, what's your name, the monk, will all get an attack of opportunity on Serenith. Well, I'm just going to make a note on my notes here that Tuna has all turn and an attack of opportunity. For next uh, thing. Okay, um, so Serenith hit. Seal hits, and um, she misses, unfortunately. Uh, Is it just a flat roll? Yeah. And just, what's that, though? Is it just a flat roll? It's like it's just an attack roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, straight roll. No, no, no benefit. 18. 18 hits. Okay, so go ahead and roll damage on that. I'm going to add up everyone else's here. I'm going to re-roll with my feet. Uh, 10. Add the force. Yeah, yep, and he yeah. attack, yep. Uh, another 10. Okay. Here. <laughs> okay. Gesif is looking probably around. I mean, it's tough to tell, right? But they're starting to look hurt. You kind of know. You've been through a lot of battles. You know when someone's reaching around half their health. 
as it seems to be around there, maybe just a little worse than that, worse for wear, as they dart and run away. So I'm going to just play out this next moment here with you all. Um, as Kezif retreats to try and get away from this, uh, this regroup, um, Serenith holds a quick huddle, calls everyone in their minds. Kezif is hurt. They will hide in these woods, no doubt, looking to recover. Now that they know we are a real threat. They may try and hide, and given how capable they are, it's possible they'll succeed. We cannot let that happen. We must split up and surround this portion of woods so that they cannot escape past any of us and track our prey. Sarah looks down to um, walks over with Feyora and Tuna over towards Laedra and Dia and hands you all um, a bone horn. Um, it won't make a sound, but if you find as if blow this horn and you will be heard, you will be alerted and hands you who wants to take the bone horn. Fiora, uh, okay, Fiora grabs it. Mm -hmm. Everyone makes a, uh, spreads out on this mine lake and makes a wide, like, entrapping circle and begins searching the woods to head in to find as if now hiding from the party, looking to recover or set up some sort of counterattack. Um, still up to be seen, to be determined if the immortal Kazef can indeed be killed by Theraneth and your hunting party. You now are, the four of you, sort of in your own group, just spread out ever just a little bit, just so much, closing in, but by yourselves, tracking Kazef. That's where we'll end tonight's session. Um, woo! All right. Well done, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So we obviously have even even more goodies to tackle here. Um, oops. I'll fix nameplates. Uh, or I won't. I just won't fix them. Um, I'll fix some picture. I guess it doesn't matter where battles at here because kids have ran off. But yeah, you find yourselves in uh, the what feels like an, an ominously quiet. Uh, forest right now as you're crunching snow, walking together, keeping an eye out for Kezif, holding a bone horn tight in case you need to call the rest of this pack uh, should you spot Ke Kezif before anybody else does. Um, super well done, lots of fun with the, with the battle and the setup, all the role play to set it up. Um, Hopefully it's it's feeling fun to be in the wild hunt and and involved and not too left out of it with you know a lot of peace NPCs, um, but uh, yeah yeah. If anyone new, you've been watching Sundered Fate or Tuesday night D and D stream. Um, we stream every Tuesday night 9 p.m. to midnight, so consider swinging on by and uh, giving us a follow. You'll be alerted to all our content across the week. But um, at the very least, we hope to catch you next Tuesday to see how the wild hunt continues from here. Um, all right. Oh, thank you, Daniel Lynch. You're such a sweetheart. Thanks. <laughs> Have a lovely night. Um, yeah, take care, everybody. We'll catch you soon. Bye. 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 Thank you, Jack Rabbit. <laughs>